It's Friday, and you know what that means. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing you my comic book pickups from my local comic shop and giving you a spoiler-free review on each of them. Well, most of them. But if you enjoy this video, make sure to like it. Comment down below. What are you reading? I would love to hear from you. Do you agree with my assessment of each of these books? And of course, subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you whenever I post a brand new video. I'm Alex. I collect comics and graphic novels. Welcome to the Graphic Novel Collector. First up, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 41 by Wells and Ramita Jr. First off, I just wanna say, the art in this book is horrendous. It's bad. I'm sorry, I don't like to poop on people and what they do. You know, I will usually just not review something if I just genuinely don't like it, but holy smokes, when it's a character, as prolific and as huge as Spider-Man. Get a good artist on it. I'm sorry, John Romita Jr., he used to be great. I loved him on his Straczynski run back in the early 2000s, but he just does not have it. There's a page in this book where Hammerhead and Tombstone are headbutting, I guess, but it just looks like they're smashing faces together. Kind of looks like they're kissing. I don't know. It was horrendous. The art in this book is terrible. Also, Speaking of the actual dialogue, the first couple of pages had some pretty funny quips from Peter Parker and from She-Hole. But, holy smokes, some of the dialogue in this book, I'm just like, I don't buy it. I don't buy that some of these villains will be talking like this and making jokes in these super serious situations. This book, I, I gotta say, this is the first book of Gang War. Total. Gang War that I've read. Go back and check out the other videos that I've made about Gang War books. This is the first one that I just, I'm not a fan of it. I'm giving this book two stars because, again, Peter Parker, Spider-Man felt like Spider-Man in this book, but the art's not good. I don't know. The, the story's kind of dragging, and overall, dialogue is just not believable to me. It's just downright bad, and again, I don't like crapping on things. But this book was just not good. Gang War has overall just, it started really good. First Strike, I thought, was a pretty darn good book. I think I gave it uh, four stars, maybe three and a half stars. Every single issue has been worse than the next. So Gang War, not saving, not saving Wells' run, in my opinion. It's not great. It's not great. Read at your own risk. This book, however, if that was a two, I would say this is about a three and a half. So we are finally getting to the conclusion of this mini series, and Jian, right there, we find out her motives. We found out what's going on. Hellboy, of course, at the end of the last book, was enraged and throwing everything around the facility, and that pretty much continues. The ending of this book is pretty funny. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but Giant Robot Hellboy had a very nice conclusion. Mike Mignola knows how to write his character, and yeah, Hellboy's always great. I just wish that we had Mike Mignola on the art. Instead, we have Duncan Figretto, and he does a pretty good... I'll admit, he does a pretty good impression of Mignola's art. Nothing comes close to Mignola's original art, but very good issue. I really enjoyed it. Three and a half stars for Giant Robot Hellboy. Next up, we have Blue Beetle, issue number five by Trujillo and Gutierrez. Again, this is another great issue in this series. Trujillo really knows the voice of of Jaime Reyes, and if the last issue was the calm before the storm, oh baby, this was our hurricane, because finally, the blood scarab shows up and starts wreaking havoc. I'm not gonna give away too much, but just know, Starfire from the last issues there, we have an appearance from a certain chord that may be at odds, maybe having ulterior motives. Blue Beetle continues to be one of my favorite DC titles going right now, and I highly recommend you check it out because Chihio really knows how to write Blue Beetle. 
Next up, and the only book that I haven't actually read yet, Shazam by Mark Wade. I'm really, really excited for this run. I've heard a ton of good stuff about this book from other YouTubers, um, but this is the first one, I believe, that has Black Adam in it. So I'm super stoked to dive into this. Again, work and life, I haven't got to read this yet, but I promise I will post a short when I do, so you will get a short condensed review of Shazam. I'm super excited. Mark Wade's been crushing it on Batman Superman Finest, and I will start picking up those books as well. I want to get the trade paperbacks, but Shazam, Mark Wade, doing excellent work, as per usual. This book was awesome! Oh my gosh, this book was so sick. Obviously, in the last issue, we saw Zurin R overtake Fail State, and that was crazy. That was insane we pick up right where that left off basically this entire book i'm not going to give away too many spoilers as i like these to be very light light spoilers but this whole book is basically bruce wayne trying to figure out how to survive and how to get away from zurin r in failsafe so again robot indestructible robot that was designed by bruce wayne so he knows all of the tricks they know all the tricks the zurin r is batman essentially so he knows all the tricks there was a super sick moment that bruce tried to get him off his trail but zurin r as smart as he is knew exactly what he was trying to do it was a page turner this book is action-packed and of course the conclusion we're about to start joker year one so we know Last couple pages, spoiler alert, so if you want to skip ahead, the last couple pages do have Joker, and I'm just so excited. Do we need a Joker year one? Eh, maybe not. Maybe <laughs> maybe not. Am I here for it? Yes, absolutely. But this issue in particular was excellent. Batman 141. I think Zdarsky's finally catching his stride here with his Batman story. I'm giving Batman 141 four stars out of five. It was an excellent book, and you should definitely read it. And I'm really excited for Joker year one. So that's it. That is it, everybody. If you didn't realize, Batman was my pick of the week. Uh, this was a pretty fun week for me. I think all the books, except for Spider-Man, unfortunately. I mean, at least Miles Morales' books are good, right? <laughs> but... Yeah, this week was fun. Uh, Giant Robot, Blue Beetle, and I'm excited to read Shazam. Again, make sure you like this video. If you made it this far, you might as well. Subscribe, of course. Hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out. I'm Alex. I collect comics and graphic novels. This is the Graphic Novel Collector, and I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Adios.